In this video, we're going to go through a couple different ways that you can deal with blanks in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through a couple different options with or without DAX. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So getting blank values in your reports is actually pretty common, especially because you're able to filter and slice and dice your data, which might end up making some of your visuals return some blank values. You'll see this most prevalent when using the card visual and it's because the callout text for those visuals are usually pretty big. When there are no values or if there are any blank values that is returning into that card, it will give you a big blank text with the words blank on top of it, which can make your visuals look like it's gotten some error, but it's not. That's the intended purpose of it. So let's go through this example that I prepared for you today just to show you how it would look like. So this is the, the reports with some data from our usual Northwind database. I've already created a measure here that calculates the sales and it's not too important the DAX calculation for it. Just know that this measure calculates the sales for this company. We're going to change this into a card just so that we can see its value and we'll leave it here at the top. Now, as we add some filter slicers here at the top, so let's choose a different category, for example. As you can see, as you make selections here, the value of the sales changes. And then if we add then on the calendar, the month, change this into a slicer as well. Here is what exactly what I'm talking about. So you will have some scenarios in which there will be blank values and that's normal because those months maybe didn't have a sale for that specific category, which is fine. However, you might want to deal with this scenario where it's showing this blank text and maybe show something that is a little bit easier to the eyes. So the easiest way that you can deal with blanks is by simply just adding a plus zero at the end of your measures. So in this sales measure here, for example, you can see there is the sum X, which is the calculation to get our sales. Now, instead of leaving it like this, you can just simply add a plus zero at the end, and that will force the calculation or the measure to always return a value, even if there is no returning value for that calculation itself. So even if the sum X returns nothing because there are no sales for that month or for that category, it will still return a zero because we're still doing the plus zero at the end of these measures. If you're using the plus zero on measures that you're using on other visualizations like line charts or bar charts, you just need to be a little bit careful. And that's because by default, a lot of the visuals in Power BI hide elements that don't have any values, but now because you're forcing zero to have, for it to have a value, it will show those accordingly. So for these cases, what I typically do is instead of adding that plus zero on the main measure that I want to show in a card. I want to just maybe just create a new measure and just say sales KPI. And then I'm just going to refer reference that measure and then I'm going to do a plus zero. And that's what I'm going to use in my card visual. So that way I can still use the normal sales measure without really without affecting anything else. Now that's great for sort of numerical values. We just want to make sure there's always adding a zero if there is a blank value. However, what if you don't want it to be zero if there is a blank value? You might want to have a distinction between zero and none. So you might want to have something else in here. So if you're using cards, the easiest way to fix this is by simply using the new card visual which is a visual that came out a few months ago. And it's basically a supercharged version of the card visual. And by using this, you don't really need to create any fancy DAX code because the formatting for handling blank values is already in the property section. So first of all, I'm just going to bring and use this back in use the sales, the normal sales, just so that we have that blank value back in our card. We're going to change this into the new card visual. And as you can see, here we go. So it's already replaced that blank value into something else, which you can customize from the callout section here. 
If you scroll at the bottom here, it says show blank value as, and if you change that into whatever you want, so NA or null or zero, you will have full control of what the blank value should show in these cards so that it's not blank and you didn't have to write any DAX code for this. And the best part of using this card visual is that because you can create multiple cards within this same visual, you can use this rule across all of the cards that you will use within this visual. So it's pretty handy because you don't really need to have separate settings on these cards if you don't want to. There are lots of other really cool features that uh, comes with the new card visual and I did cover it in a separate video so go check that one out if you haven't yet. If you want to deal with the blank values directly within the DAX measure themselves, let me give you a way that you can do this easily. So I'm going to create another measure here and uh, let's say we want to deal with checking if our values, if the value that is returning is blank or not. So sales, no blank. I'm just going to name it like that. And then we're going to use the if statement here. Now pay attention to what I'm going to do here. So if, I'm, if I say if sales result is sales else, we we'll just make it NA. I'm just going to close this. I'm not going to explain for now. I'm just going to put it into a card and I will explain. So I'm going to drag it here. Here we go. So how does that if statement work? So Basically, this if statement, what it's done is it's implicitly checking if the sales measure is returning blank or not. Now, typically, you will need to be explicit with your if statement. So typical way that you would write this is not is blank, which achieves the same thing, but it's a lot more verbose. However, with the if statement, it understands that if you don't pass it any other expression other than the measure, it will just check if that value is blank or not. So you can just simply leave it as sales. And what it's doing with just this is it's checking if there is a value in that sales. And if there is, just give it and return the sales value as normal. Otherwise, use this expression that this text that we have here on the third statement. So pretty easy, right? And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to deal with blank values within your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so enough to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.